guys, welcome back to your very quick and the most accurate guitar tutorial of the song 7 by Taylor Swift and I'm just gonna cover the full album by today so make sure you have a look at my channel. So just put the keep on the second fret to make it super easy. Uh, let's dive into the structure. We'll start off with the verse, then you have the chorus, then you have the refrain. A bit different. Then you have the verse, chorus and a refrain and that's it for the song. So three parts, verse, chorus, refrain and three parts to learn. Just have a look at the chords. First chord is the A major, which is mute, open, second, 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 open. E minor, which is 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. D major, which is mute, mute, open, second, third, second. G major, 3, 2, open, open, 3, 3. B minor, mute, 2, 4, 4, 3, 2. I went a bit fast with the chords, but what you can do is you can just post the video, have a look at the chord shapes. Uh, practice changing the chord shapes and then you can just play along with me or you can just start the lesson. Let's get started. Firstly, we come with the verse our nice picking. We have finger picking basically, or you can even use a pick. It's a lot easy. Uh, anyone can do that. So we have to keep on the second fret. The chord progression for the verse will be an A to an E minor to a D and back to A. So this was the chord progression A, E minor, D, E major. Now, super simple this verse pattern is of finger picking is what you do is have a look at the tab you uh, you play the A string open then second fret on the B string you repeat that a total of four times so we got what I'm doing is I'm just picking the bass note with the pick which I'm having and with my ring finger I'm playing the B string and then I just bring it over here on third fret of the B string and I play the E string open so I go to the E minor chord and I play it four times Then I have a 3 on the B string fixed, but I just change the bass note to the open D, uh, D major chord, so play that 4 times. Go back to A and play it 4 times and you end the chord progression over there. Super simple, so let's play that. That's it. After that we have the chorus and for the chorus our chord progression will be a E minor, D major, G major, A major. Nice and easy but just have a look at the rhythm cause that goes for the refrain as well as for the chorus. It will be a down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So very easy string pattern. Let me break down that. So it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Last down up is a bit fast and you, you and you actually play that when you just move on to the next chord like I'm sitting from the A to the D I play down up like this So if you just take time in playing or uh, shifting the chord you can just like minimize that while doing that stroke over there So down up So down up down up down up So we got So the chord progression E minor D G A will sound something like this Nice and easy, yeah. Now we have the refrain, exact same string pattern but just a different chord progression B minor, D, A major, D. I repeat B minor, D, A, D. I agree, I'm going super fast with this lesson, but can't help it, guys. I have to do this album to tell us it, and by today, and also tomorrow, I have to cover a lot of songs which has been released Friday because the terrorists are not able to. I'll uh, make tutorials on the song, but I also have to complete the Kid Lara album, which he just released. I didn't even hear one song. They were mad. Let's get started. One, two, three, four. Come to the end of this lesson. If this is not make sure to drop you one of these, and I'll see you guys back in my very next video. So then, bye.